Chief Justice John Marshall was appointed by the Federalist John Adams. And presidents typically appoint a Supreme Court, ju uh, a Supreme Court justice that shares views similar to their own. So Marshall, as a Federalist, is going to do things that Federalists would have supported, like strengthen the power of the central government. Um, this is an important note to remember for future presidents as well. Uh, even though the Senate has the power to confirm a Supreme Court uh, nominee, the, the president often supports somebody and appoints somebody that shares views similar to their own. So Marshall is going to be supporting a strong national government, and we can see that through many of his decisions. Uh, in one example, Givens versus Ogden, uh, he rules that the federal government can only control interstate commerce. Uh, in Dartmouth versus Woodward, uh, he upholds the sanctity of contracts so that state governments can't uh, get out of a federal contract. In McCullough versus Maryland, Marshall upholds the idea that uh, the central government has the right to establish a national, a national bank and that state governments can't uh, tax it out of existence. Now, the Supreme Court decisions can change over the time. They can um, uh, update their decisions. They can fine-tune and make nuances to their decisions. But without the Supreme Court case of uh, Marbury versus Madison, Marshall would not have been able to set the precedents and the principles that he does uh, in this time.